Hello everybody and welcome to Tech Stuff 31 and today I will be showing you how to create an intro in iMovie for your YouTube channel. So you want to go to where it says My Media, Audio, Titles, Backgrounds, and Transitions. Then go and click on Titles. This will bring you to this page where you can see there's a wide variety of titles to choose from. Bring your mouse over each title to preview it. I'm going to choose this one. Click and drag the title to bring it into your timeline. Release. Then you will see that the text is highlighted. You can hit the delete or backspace button to remove it. You can then type what you would like to type in. I'm going to type in Tech Stuff 31 but you can type in the name of your channel. If I do not like what I've typed, I can always just come in and highlight it and hit the backspace to delete it. I can then retype what I would prefer to have there. Let's preview it. So it looks pretty good, but we could add some music. Head on over to Google and search NCS. Click on the first link, which should be a YouTube channel. Then go to Videos. There is a wide selection of royalty-free songs that are free to download. Click the song you would like to download and go down to the description. Click Show More. There you will see Download or Stream for free. Click that. Then choose NCS Free Download. Click Download and it will proceed to downloading. Go back to iMovie and minimize the page. Then go over to Finder. Click on Finder. Your song should be there. Drag it into your timeline. Go back all the way to iMovie and do a right click where you want your song to end. Then do split clip. Delete the second and longer clip. Now you're going to go to Google Chrome and search up footage crate. Footage crate is a free online source for After Effects, though it does require an account. You can simply sign up by putting in your username and password and email. It is completely and 100% free and the only source I use for any effects that I ever use in my videos. Go to video. As you can see there are many choices but we're gonna go to motion graphics. From there click transitions. You will see a full list of transitions. You can sample different ones by highlighting over them. I'm going to pick this one flat splash transition 2. Click the download button to download it. Once downloaded, you can minimize the tab on Google and go over to iMovie and make that tab smaller. You can then drag in your effect into iMovie. As you can see, it is on top of our video, of our title. You can drag it to the beginning. We also have the option to drag it to the end and place it on the same level of that video.
As you look, there's just one problem. You can see the beginning of our title before our splash comes on. Drag your clip up. As you can see, we have the option to put it in front of our title. We should do that. Then, find the point where the title will be completely covered by the splash. Right click. There, you will go down to split clip. Click this to split it into two separate clips. Take the second clip and drag it to put it on top of our title. Drag the music to fit the beginning of the clip. Perfect. Now let's add in one more thing. Go to Backgrounds and select a background that you like. I'm going to select Blobs. Click and drag Blobs into your timeline or any other background that you choose to use. Then trim your background to fit the end of the music. After doing that, go to Titles and select one that you would like. Click and drag that and place it on top of your background. Then you can trim that to the end of your background. As we mentioned before, you can now change your text. I'm going to change ours to techstuff31.com because that is the name of our website. Press enter to save it. You are now finished. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Also, in the comments below, tell us what iMovie tutorial we should do next. Thank you for watching.